Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days and I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Casual Construction Series. Uh, so I thought uh, we would take a, a little bit of a break from the normal Let's Play and do another video or two uh, on the construction. Uh, I've done just a little bit of work up here since the last Casual Construction episode, but not a whole lot. As you can see, I've you know cut into the mountainside here, and the plan is that we're going to continue burrowing all the way through and out to the other side, which I think is going to, uh, you know, come out somewhere around this stump. And then, you know, we have the town and the road down there. So we're probably just going to, you know, essentially have a road that goes straight off the side of the mountain uh, down to the highway. It's just going to be, it, it's, it gets a little steep, you know, right in this part, but <clears throat> excuse me, it's going to be the most direct uh, route and it'll be, you know, pretty smooth too. Um, but our house is, uh, if we, get right south here the center of our hillside is right about there so you know when we get to this point then we're going to turn and head south until we get uh, maybe not directly underneath the house but close to directly underneath it maybe you know somewhere to here or so and the reason <clears throat> for that is because i don't want to have a big uh, open gap uh, look at the view out there with the with the desert buttes and stuff. That's really cool. Uh, but anyway, I don't want to have a big open gap right underneath the house because that can cause us uh, some structural integrity problems. Uh, so we'll probably bring it, I don't know, maybe to the edge of here and we'll have like a big underground garage uh, for our vehicles. And then, you know, we'll get into the house uh, via uh, either stairs or a ladder, we'll see, or maybe both. Um, all right, so what we're going to do is just kind of keep uh, digging uh, through the tunnel here. Uh, I took off from the base without bringing my dog on um, coffee with me, but we do have maxed out uh, sexual Tyrannosaurus now, and we have maxed out uh, Minor 69er and maxed out um, Motherload. So even without the coffee, you know, we still uh, should do pretty good. But you know, the thing is, though, is with the coffee, we we read that book where we get an extra 10%. Um, not that I necessarily want an extra 10% stone, uh, but I certainly, you know, wouldn't mind it. On the other hand, maybe we should save the coffee for when we're, you know, when we're mining ores because um, I think it'll just be put to better use. So, yeah, we can we can get that many blocks done before we have to stop and rest. But um, our stamina should replenish very quickly. Uh, yeah, because we've got maxed out uh, sexual T, so... Um, actually, I guess that it doesn't look like that affects stamina regen speed. <clears throat> it looks like it just means we use less stamina. Let's look, read this. You are now a cage gladiator and have risen the highest athletic prowess possible. Reduce mainly in tool stamina usage by 25% and power attacks by 50%. Killing blows grant 30 stamina. Okay, so yeah, this doesn't really cause us to regenerate our stamina more quickly. It just lasts longer because we use less of it. So... That's uh, that's fine. That works for us too. So yeah, let's just kind of keep cutting through uh, the mountain here until we get uh, out the other side and pretty much to that position where we're directly north of the center of our mountain. And then we will turn and head south and start burrowing into the mountain itself. And then I'll have to kind of, like I said, figure out how far in we're going to go and we're, then we're going to have to carve out a larger area uh, it's got to be big enough you know for us to get the 4 by 4 in and get it to turn around and you know we'll have the motorcycle in there and we'll have the we'll probably park the mini bike too just for funsies and um, <clears throat> you know so we need enough room for all of that to take place all right when uh, six six o'clock in the morning rolls around we're going to stop and go uh, do a turn in at uh, trader bob not too far away from here because we have that to do so we've just been uh, having a lot of fun on the normal let's play series uh, you know doing the uh, continuing to work on the quest we're i think we're somewhere around halfway through the the tier three so we've got three Four, five, yep, we are exactly halfway, and, and then we'll actually, be, when we turn in six, we'll be a little over halfway uh, of the tier three, so which is pretty good. 
the higher up we move in those, then you know the better the rewards and and that sort of thing. I do like tier three though. It's it's um probably one of my favorite tiers just because of the variety of POIs that we can do. Of course, you know, then the game still sometimes gives you the same damn wound all over again, but <laughs> that's the way it works. That's the way it works sometimes. I'm guessing that probably most of you uh, who are watching the casual construction series also watch the normal Let's Play series. Could be wrong about that, but that's kind of my guess. Also, this is only going to be the third time I've released a casual construction episode, too. So, and I, you know, I'm not doing them back to back, and these are all being pre recorded as well. So, we'll just, you know, like I said, we'll have to kind of see how the views go. If I get really low views on it, I might not continue doing it, but we'll see. We'll see. It's, it's a different pace, you know, it's a lot slower pace than the normal Let's Play series. Um, but, you know, it's all about construction and you know building and that sort of thing and that's kind of the point of it so and i know that's not everybody's cup of tea but if it's enough people's cup of tea then we'll continue doing it in between the normal let's play episodes okay um i'm also probably going to start focusing on fortitude because there um are four skills or perks in particular that I want from the fortitude tree. Uh, they are, let's take a look, uh, machine gunner. We, if you didn't see the last Let's Play episode, we found the magazine for the M60 uh, there. <clears throat> so looking forward to making that, but I want, you know, I want to get this up at least to four before we do that. Uh, I also want living off the land so we can start getting going on a garden Pain tolerance and healing factor. Those in particular, those ones are the ones that I would like uh, to get. So yeah, fortitude is the next next uh, tree that we'll we'll focus on. Eventually, you know, we'll we'll buy some Grandpa's uh, forgetting elixir and do a respect too. But I don't have enough points yet, I think, to make that worthwhile. Plus, it's pretty expensive. Uh, and we don't have a ton of money, at least not that kind of money, yet. We will eventually, though. I never have had a problem in this game, um, you know, amassing a bunch of money towards the end of the game. To the point where, you know, there's nothing to do with it. <laughs> except for buy, you know, maybe more learning Alexa so you could do several different respects. You know, that's really about all there is to spend money on in the late game after you have pretty much everything else. I think, anyway. Doesn't quite know which voxel to do. Okay, it looks like we're getting into the dirt, so we're getting getting closer to the point where we'll start to punch out of here pretty soon. This should get us a nice little supply of stone, too. Um, I was thinking, too, that once we get the, the garage set up, um, I might actually move my equipment, my crafting stations, uh, out here. Um, you know, so we have them out here because we're going to, of course, need them to build the house. We might even just flat out move all the way out here at that point, too. Uh, you know, the downside to that, of course, is we won't be right next to the trader anymore. But, well, you know, I don't want to just, I don't want to have to keep going back and forth from here to our current place you know once we get to the point where we really want to start doing some building in earnest out here all right come on stamina one thing we could oh man <clears throat> i didn't bring anything to eat either i should have done that here well let's take one of these this will give us efficient digestion and stamina regen uh, so that's good stuff I, uh, at one point, a couple episodes ago, found the recipe for mineral water, too, so we can start making that. So it won't be too much longer, and then we'll punch out of here. I've been thinking, too, about um, covering up the, the first tunnel that collapsed on us. I thought about maybe using plates, you know, like upside down plates 
just so that um, it gives the in you know interior of the tunnel a little more space height I guess um, so I gotta look at look at that see how that's gonna go but I don't like the you know the big like you know car you know carved uh, what am I trying to say like almost like a little ravine or whatever <laughs> right in our view there Yeah, that water works really good for keeping our stamina regenerating quickly. By the time you guys uh, see this episode too, I, I will actually be out of town. I've announced this a couple of times on the normal Let's Play series, but I've got to go <coughs> excuse me, uh, to Vegas uh, for about a week or so for work. Uh, and I'm going to leave on the 19th, and then I'll be back, uh, which is a Monday, and I'll be back the following, actually Wednesday, so it's it's about uh, about nine days we'll be gone. But I'm trying to, you know, get episodes pre-recorded so that you'll have content for, you know, most, if not the entire time, you know, that I'm gone. So, so far we're on track for doing that. I've got a, you know, I, I also do Imperion Galactic Survival uh, videos, too. And I need to try and get a few more of those out so we also have those pre-recorded. So I, I don't know if I can, you know, if I'll have enough content to keep the videos coming the entire time that I'm gone. But we should, you know, we should be able to keep them coming for most of that time anyway. Have a little break maybe towards the end. Yeah, this trip I'm going to take... Um, I'm going to actually drive. I live in Colorado, uh, so it's going to be about a 12-hour 12 12 drive to Vegas. You know, and I just I just don't like the idea of getting on a plane at this point in time with what's going on in the world with COVID and all that. So I'm going to drive. That's the plan anyway. Flying is such a pain in the ass anyways. <laughs> you know, it, normally I would... I usually t do anywhere from about, I don't know, six to ten flights maybe a year for my job, and I just hate flying. It sucks so bad. Not not the flying itself so much, but just all the crap that you got to deal with in order to fly. And I just, it's not my cup of tea, man. Not my cup of tea at all. So even though I have to drive for 12 hours, it's going to be a lot less stressful um, for me, anyway. Should be getting into the dirt here pretty quick. The other thing too is this this is a fairly steep slope, so it shouldn't take us too long to break out the other side either. We just lost the stamina regen on that mineral water. Man, that lasts a long time. That's some good stuff. That is some good stuff. I should have brought some food, though. Doggone it. Well, what we'll do is we'll go to the trader and do our, our turn-in and then, uh, you know, maybe buy some food from him. But if he, he doesn't have enough, we might end up just going back to the base. But look at that. We've got, <laughs> we've already got like uh, t t 14, almost 15,000 stone just in the, you know, how long have I been recording for? 13 minutes? That's pretty good. Why am I hitting dirt with this? There we go. We got another level. Okay, cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do uh, with that level is let's look, go look at Fortitude. Is there any Harvest 2 items from Craft Seeds, Flowers, Chrysanthemum, Farm 30% less, 50% less. Yeah, there's no point in putting points into this until... We're ready to start crafting, but we should try and get to farmer before we start the crafting, just because you know it's cheaper to do that. Um, of course, taking a point in pain tolerance and healing factor is never a bad idea. However, I think I think I want to just go ahead and work on the attribute itself. 
uh, and get it up to, I need to get it up to six because I have the tough guy glasses, which gives me an effective seven. And then that'll allow me to get uh, to special forces, which will allow me to make a blue M60. And if I wanted to, a blue tack rifle. And then after that, We'll probably focus on getting living off the land up so we can start the farm. And then after that, we'll throw points into pain tolerance and healing factor and probably bring those two up evenly. <clears throat> and so that's kind of our, you know, our plan for the fortitude tree. Okay, trader is also open. So let's go ahead and go get our turn in with him. And then see what he has for food before we decide whether or not we need to go back home. But I do I do like this spot. It's a it's a neat spot. You know, it's got it's already got a road built up to it, at least on the south side of the mountain. And the trainer's not too terribly far down this road here. And it's still not that far, you know, to get back to our other uh, our, our current house and trader either just going off the other side of the mountain. A little air time there. We just recently uh, looted this place here. We like triple looted it. We did the normal double loot, but then we had two quests for it. And there is actually quite a number of bookshelves in that house. So, I was, you know, I had an opportunity to do even another quest there, and I turned it down just because we've already done it so many times, but I got to thinking, maybe I should have done that because of the, you know, the number of bookshelves that we get, but that's all right. We'll, we'll come across more of those eventually. Okay, so... Let's put our luckies on. And we're going to also grab our bank here. In the gratitude, friend. Okay, so uh, level 4 steel leg armor. Okay, here's the thing. Definitely better stat wise but we would lose two mod slots if we took this now because we have purple scrap armor on I don't know if I want to give up two mod slots um, we already have a green steel sledgehammer we can make pipe bombs really easy and I already have a bunch anyway so I don't think I'm going to take those let's do a comparison ooh really so the yellow sledge is actually better than our green sledge by a couple of points. Um, and it's also, even if I didn't use it, I mean, look how much it's worth. All right, you know what? Let's, let's take this. And um, have I checked your inventory? Don't remember if I have or not. He's got a 4x4 four four chassis. He's got steel armor schematic. That's... That's actually something we might want to think about doing, but we'd have to put points into heavy armor to do it. Uh, all right, let's take a look and see what else he has. I don't know that I have checked his inventory. I don't remember this stuff. Munitions box. He's got the full the full truck. Ah, that's pretty steep though. <laughs> That's pretty damn expensive. I mean, at this point, you know. Um, pretty expensive. It's got a SWAT helmet. Oh, it's got some forged steel. That I'm going to buy. Uh, do I have sugar bites? They're saying you. Let's, let's see what's in here. We'll buy the peas, but yeah, he doesn't really have any food. I mean, he did have, like, some meat stew in his own inventory, but... We do have some sugar butts. Okay, so we're going to take those. Uh, let's also decide which sledge is actually better. So here's our current sledge. If I select this and then hover over this, it says that this is better. And they're going to have the same amount of mod slots. The only difference between the two 
Otherwise is that this has a little less durability, but who gives a rat's ass about that, right? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to um, modify this. This is our new sledge. And if we... Really, I thought that would be worth more than that. Hmm. All right, well, let's fully repair because it's going to be worth it, even though it's not that far down. So we get 763 for that. If we take the sugar butts, uh, then we get 833. Okay. And we already have our stove in our mouth. Uh, okay, so let's sell this. And then, um, what was it that I wanted to buy? There was a couple of things. I forgot already. That's what happens when you get old, man. Oh, the steel, right. Yeah, okay. So let's buy that from him. Um, let's go. That's freaking highway robbery, man. He, I, he gave me, what, was it seven, six, seven hundred something? <laughs> He's selling it for over 5,000. That's such hacks, man. That's such hacks. Okay, anyway, let's look in here again. I think, you know, we can certainly afford to buy this. I think we're going to buy it. I mean, we'll probably come across it eventually, but, you know, you never know for sure. Um, I already know how to make the chassis. It's the accessories that we need for the 4x4. Four four. Whether we, you know, end up making it or buying it. So, okay, yeah, I think that's all we're going to get from, from him. We could buy the meat stew and the veggie stew. That'll tide us over for a bit longer. Just looking one last time here. Okay. Great doing business with you. Now, Go let's um, tell your friends. take his next job. Fetch and clear to the east. That's quite possibly in the desert. This Can one. You help me with my problem? Yeah, that's back at that same house again. You know what? I think I am going to take God that because just because of the bookcases we get at in that place. <clears throat> so, you know, I don't know if I'll. I might end up. I'll probably go ahead and do that on camera, but I might do a really fast speed run, like only show the bookcases and the loot, cause just because I've done it twice already. But I don't want to do the whole thing off camera though either because you know I like I like to show on camera what I get from loot at least you know um, loot that's uh, more valuable basic stuff I don't mind looting off camera but I don't like to loot really valuable stuff off camera because you know some people might think that I cheated it in of course I would never do that but it's better just to show it so that way there's no doubt right <laughs> that way there's no doubt Okay, well, we've got those two stews, so that might... Whoa, shit, I didn't even see him there. Might tide us over for a little while. Oh, you know what, though? If he resets, so did the other traders. I'm, maybe we ought to, especially since I still have sugar butts going, maybe we ought to go um, check those guys out, too, really quick. <clears throat> I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do that. So, let's see. Rather than going that way, let's just kind of bail off down through this little draw here. So it's, it's a little rough through here, but it's not, like, really bad rough. You know, like, six-foot holes that you fall into rough. Yeah, let's go. Let's go check those other trainers, and that way I can stop by the house and get some more food. Maybe we'll even just grab some coffee and say screw it. I don't know. Or more mineral water. If I, I, I think I might have some more mineral water. Home. Maybe I don't. I can't remember. But that mineral water actually works really good. Probably maybe even better than the coffee. At least in terms of the stamina region itself. The advantage of the coffee, of course, is it gives us that extra 10% bonus. But here again, I'd kind of like to save that for actual ores and not just stone. <clears throat> a 
Hold on a sec, guys. I got somebody's dinging me here. Okay. So we'll check um, Trader Hugh and we'll check Trader Joel, who's in the other town. We haven't found any of the other traders yet. A lot of times I'll just come across them even before I get the the quest to go find them, but if we don't, you know, come across them first, then we will eventually find them in the quest, so it doesn't really matter one way or to other. Come here, Arlene. I got a new sledgehammer to try out on your head. That works pretty good. That works pretty good. Customer. All right, what you got, dude? Batter up, motorcycle chassis, cooling mesh mod, orange AK. Okay, let's check his normal. Oh, he's got a yellow tack. Huh. Okay, that would give us two mod slots. But, you know, that does 49 range damage. How does that compare with my AK? Eee, it's actually better, both in terms of damage and magazine size, than the AK. And has more rounds per minute. It just has less range and less durability. Um, The only downside, though, is it would only have two slots for us. Oh, he's got another one down here, too. Check it out. Um, How does this one compare? Are these exactly the same? Yeah, they are. Hmm. Okay, let's take a look and see what else he's got real quick. Well, what would what mod would we be giving up? We'd have to probably give up. See, I, I wanna I put the scope on here so I'd also have, you know, kind of a multi-purpose sniper rifle and assault rifle. Um and the bipod mod helps your your sights to come together more quickly, so I'd kind of hate to give that up. I think I'm going to wait. I think I'm going to wait. I think I'm going to wait. And, you know, he'll have it for three days Quit in case I change my mind. Okay, let's see if we can quickly get over to Trader Joel before our our stuff wears off. If it does, well, we just bought another sugar butt, so there you go. Not buying yucca juice. We got stacks of that back at the base. This is going to be tight. But you know what? Sugar bots aren't that expensive. So if we run out, we run out. It's not a big deal. If he has something really good, we'll just take another one if we have to. So it would be fan freaking tastic if, if, if yeah, fantastic, tastic if we could find a um, schematic for the four x four chassis or um, uh, accessories. Because then we would be able to make the 4x4. The, the stopping point then would be steel, of course, because we haven't found a crucible yet. But, you know, we could start working towards that. Until I find a crucible, I can just wrench the shit out of, you know, lampposts. Like, there's three of them right there. And, and you know, keep buying it, too, as we find it from the traders. So we'll check and see what Trader Joel has. We've got a quest to do, uh, too, that's just right across the street from Trader Joel. Uh oh. <laughs> there we go. It's this house right here. All right, we still got a minute and seven seconds left. Let's just run up there really quick and see if he's got anything good. Hello, traveler. Hello, Trader Joel. Let's take a look at your inventory. Secret stash first. Oh, boy. We're going to probably buy the silencer mod. Um, weave plant fibers. Nah, I mean, 
We should get that for the, you know, the achievement. That would be nice to have. Okay, so we're, we're almost certainly going to buy that, but let's take a look and see what else he's got really quick. Bellows. He's got steel. We're buying that. That was a shitload of steel, too, wasn't it? Dark trap. Tough guys. We got all of that stuff. Corn seed recipe. Do we need that, though, if we take the... I don't think we'll need that if we take the farmer stuff. Man, I hope, I hope I'm right about that, because I'm going to kick myself otherwise. Okay, well, we just ran out of stuff, but um, I'm going to want this for later, and this is generally a kind of a rare item. So let's buy that now. This would be nice to have, too, but... I mean, we already have one, and we will eventually come across another actual bandolier, so I don't know if I want to spend money on that. Again, this would be good to get just to finish the series, but we could also come across the book at some point. So, yeah, I think that's I think that's it. I don't think we're going to do anything more for now. Much obliged, stranger. I'm pretty sure once we get um, living off the land... You can craft seeds for berries and vegetables. Yeah. So, yeah, we're not going to buy that. Okay. Not taking any quests from him because we already have an active job from him that we have to, have to do. But I'm not going to do that on the casual construction series. The main theme, of course, is construction. But we do some other casual things, too, like go check all the traders. That sort of thing. So let's go back home and get some food, and then we'll head back up and keep working on our tunnel. Too bad we couldn't go straight. I mean, we could, but we'd have to go across a kind of rough terrain, including some water. So it's not that big of a deal just to go this way, I guess. The landscape sure look, looks pretty good, though, in Alpha 19. So far, you know, this, this has been a pretty decent Alpha. Pretty decent Alpha. I just remember 18 being so much better than 17 was. 17 was... It was a tough one. You know, it, it was the first time <clears throat> they had made the major changes <clears throat> to the landscape and the questing system and all that sort of thing from 16, which was a really, really good alpha. I put, I put in tons of hours on alpha 16. But 17 was, it was kind of like, you know, a step in the right direction, but it just had a lot of problems. One of the bigger ones I remember that was just frustrating as all get out was that um, you know, the random gin was really bad in it. Uh, like, for example, there was, um, you'd, you'd find these towns that were just filled with things like waterworks and junkyards and power stations. Uh, and, but they were just all over the place, you know, like way, way more than there should be at the expense of, you know, the other types of POIs. And 17 was really hard too, and not necessarily hard in a good way. Cause you know, I like a challenge of course, but it was just a, a tough, really hard to level. Uh, the skill system was a lot more, you know, a lot less forgiving and stuff. Okay. Oh, we do have more mineral. Okay. I'm going to grab all of this. Uh, we need to actually just use that. Um, we could put our silencer on. If we do, we're going to lose some damage, but it would help us to be a little more stealthy. And there's a few times where that could come in handy. So right now we have 51 range damage. If we modify this and take the hunter off, that drops us down by five points. On the other hand, if we're going to use this mostly as a stealthy, what happens if we put this on instead? Oh, 
That didn't make any difference at all. Okay. Yeah, let, let's let's try that. Let's try that because what that's going to allow me to do, of course, is get some stealth kills in, or even maybe even some stealth pulls. I don't have any pistol skill other than I think maybe the first point, but. It, you know, if we can pull one zombie to us in a room f uh, full of four and then finish it off with the sledgehammer, that's still going to be very useful. Uh, all right, so let's see. We're going to put our steel in here. For now, let's put all of the stone in here. And we should also take a look and see how we're doing uh, in our forge and our concrete mixer. Let's put this up here. That will go back in the bike. There we go. Oh, you know what? It looks like they fixed that too because I think, well, maybe it was, I think on the the desert vulture, I think this, the silencer in experimental blocked the site. It was too, too high up. Uh, and you know, maybe they fixed that. I don't know. We'll have to see when we eventually get a desert vulture. All right, let's put you in there. We'll put the eggs in here. And uh, we can actually make a bacon and eggs. So let's do that and save our little bit better food for later. Yeah, our food's down pretty damn low. We're probably going to have to eat the bacon eggs and maybe even the vegetable stew to get it all the way back up. All right. And then, so we got the mineral water. We're here mostly to get food, right? Uh, let's also grab these because these give us um, like seven minutes of ex uh, of uh, of more stamina, basically. They don't give you a lot of food, but they're really good for the stamina. Okay, so we're going to eat these right now. And we'll see how that how high up that gets us. While that's going on, do we have anything going on in here? Don't think so. Okay, so what are you doing? You have 334 cement. You just ran out of fuel. That's what happened with you. Let's put a bunch in there. I'm surprised we haven't gotten a, scre a screamer at this place yet. We, we actually got one up at the mountain base, but not one down here. Because I've been running this almost nonstop. Uh, we got a bunch of stone already cooked too, so let's continue making cement and then we'll grab these two things and just keep making concrete like crazy. Okay, so that got our food up pretty high, that bacon and eggs did. I might save that stew. Oh, we got more bacon and eggs. All right. That's right. I forgot about that. Oh, that's right. We got the sham chowder too. That That's like some of the best food in the game because of the buffs that it gives you. So let's grab that too. And uh, didn't I grab the meat stew from that guy? Maybe I grabbed it and ate it. I can't remember now. <laughs> I don't remember what I did. Okay, I think we're done here. Let's put um, this and this in here. Oh, there's the meat stew. Okay, we'll, we'll put that in our inventory too. So between these three foods plus the boiled meat, uh, we, we, we don't, Boop, talk. We have lots of food uh, to last us for quite some time, so we can just kind of keep on working. See, it's day 25. Horde is in 20 on 28. The only thing I have to do on the horde base is I need I want to upgrade the the quarter poles by me to steel, and we need to put some hatches in. Probably won't do steel hatches. We'll probably do just you know fully upgraded iron hatches for horde 28 but that base has been doing actually quite well um and you know as long as we have the firepower and all of that maybe i'll be able to put another point into machine gunner before uh you know the next horde and then uh i, I think we'll be fine on horde 28 too But that's not my, you know, that's not going to be our end game horde base. If you guys uh, watched my Wasteland series that I did 
um, back in the early late spring early summer um, I, I'm gonna try and do something similar to that uh, for this for this playthrough too because that horde base was just amazing I think there was one night and this is in the late game mind you when XP is a lot harder to get there was one night that I got five levels in one night it's just nuts XP farm baby but I'm not going to tell you what what I did. Well, you already know if you watch the Wasteland series, but because uh, we'll make it a surprise for those who have not seen it. So we'll just kind of go up around these flatlands here and head up the hill pretty much this way. Whoa! hit something there didn't we so yeah it gets a little steep coming up through here and we could even maybe come up through this little draw because it's not quite as quite as steep I mean it, it would be extremely difficult to make a road down a hill in this game. In fact, it's just not really doable at all. The only thing you could do is make 22 degree sloping ramps all the way down, but even that's going to be pretty steep trying to come up. So I think, you know, whenever we need to go to the north, it we just bail off right through here because this isn't this is pretty smooth. This isn't that bad. And then we just go off that way if we need to head to that town or, you know, go that way to get into that town. So that should work pretty good. Okay, let's back you up here. All right, guys, I am back. Uh, it's actually the next day. I had to uh, leave in real life in that last part. Uh, so we're going to keep working on our tunnel here. And I want to take one of these to get our max stamina up. And let's also take a mineral water. And uh, that should let us go for a while. So we're going to keep working on the tunnel here until we punch through to the other side, which shouldn't be too much longer. And then uh, we'll turn south and start heading underneath the, uh, the base area. That is the plan. It's pretty early in the morning in real life for me, so I'm still trying to wake up here. <laughs> I'm working on cup of coffee number two, though, so we should be doing pretty good. Uh, all right, so we've got... Let's switch this stuff around here. Uh, we got dirt right here, so let's hit that. And uh, like I said, I think I'm expecting this to be a fairly steep slope on the other side as opposed to a gradual one so we should break out pretty quickly We're gonna get so much stone from doing all this too especially after we get the main garage slash cavern built out yeah, look at that, man. With that mineral water, we can go for such a long time. We're not even halfway out of stamina yet. It's good stuff. I wonder how that compares with um, black strap coffee. Maybe we'll have to do a comparison sometime. See what the difference is. Mineral water has the efficient digestion that the red tea does too, but gives you a lot more hydration and stamina regen, I think, than the red tea does. Okay, that's dirt there. Finally out of stamina. Yeah, that I don't I wasn't even counting how many blocks <laughs> we did there, but it was quite a few. So if we look to the south, we're getting very close. You can see the house up on my compass there. 
won't be too much longer and then we'll be able to start turning I've been trying to I've been thinking about too how I'm gonna do this corner out here it needs to be wide enough for us to be able to turn especially in the 4x4 once we finally get it on you know to head into the tunnel so we'll have to see how that uh, turns out there still also kind of pondering how I'm gonna do um, the actual house too I'm not really looking to do something large but I want it to be nice though you know um, so you know like just a cabin kind of idea but more than just a box with stuff in it though too so we'll see I haven't done any really extensive building in this game since Alpha 16. I mean, I've certainly built stuff since then, of course. Horde bases and that sort of thing, but in terms of building something as a nice place to live, the last time I did something really major like that was in Alpha 16. I built a very... It, well, it wasn't very large, but it was a pretty sizable uh, mansion type of house on an island. And it uh, it's quite a project. It took quite a while to do it, but it was fun. And, you know, not a lot really has changed with the game in terms of the actual building itself since then, as far as I know. Nothing major, anyway. I think we have, you know, a few more options with blocks and that sort of thing. And, and back then, um, what you had to do... <clears throat> I'm trying to remember how that worked. It wasn't exactly like it is now where, you know, we just have... We press the R key and then we have all the different shapes to choose from. I think we had to go into, we had, we had to actually, we actually, actually little talk. We actually had to craft the different shapes. That's what it was. Yeah. Um, so now we just make, you know, like a wood frame and then we press the R menu and then we can choose from a bunch of different shapes. Whereas back then, if you wanted, you know, like a 45 degree angle block, you actually had to craft it as a 45 degree angle block. So, so, you know, they have changed things in that regard, but is, in terms of the actual blocks that we work with, I don't think there's a whole lot uh, that's changed in that regard, so. Okay, let's uh, hit this. This is all dirt out here. So, yeah, one of the things I was thinking of is if I should build this corner out. Wait a second. Yeah, we don't want to cut that way any further, I don't think. Uh, if I should build this, you know, this needs to be kind of like a little platform that we could turn on if I should do it as earthen works or if we should build it up as blocks. I haven't really decided yet. Let's... I thought I heard footsteps. Sometimes when the background music plays, it can sound like footsteps and then you're like, oh, no, no, there's a zombie. <laughs> Let's get the rest of the stone here. One of my uh, favorite YouTubers, Seven Days to Die YouTubers to watch is uh, Z Nation FFS. And uh, anyways, I've been watching his Alpha 19 series. And he, he does he does his um, series like montage style, so he doesn't, there's no talking at all. It's all just uh, music and, you know, time lapse, which is really neat. You know, it's it's just a, most of the rest of us do it the normal way. So it's, it's like a nice little change of pace and He's got really good music that he plays, and so I'll just, you know, put that on, and sometimes I'll put it on, like, when I'm going to work and just listen to it, not really watch it, because I'm driving, of course, but listen to it, or, um, you know, just to kind of chill and relax. Anyway, all that to say, um, he, he like, found a freaking um, auger schematic, like, really early on in the game. I was, like, so freaking jealous, man, because we went, we went through the whole entire 
um, experimental series without finding any auger, not an auger or a schematic. And then he like finds one very early in the game. It's like, man, how lucky is that? So I hope we eventually come across one. And honestly, now would be the best time to do it because of all the construction that we have to do. But I'm not counting on that, though. If it happens, it'll be awesome. If it doesn't, well, we, we have to continue on anyway. So that's why we put all those points into the mining skills and the sexual Tyrannosaurus for the stamina and that sort of thing. I usually max those points out anyways, even if I do have an auger. Okay, this is probably stone here. Yeah. What about this? Yep. Sometimes the textures blend into each other and it's hard to tell. I don't know if you can even buy augers from the trader anymore. I think you have to find the schematic. Uh, or the actual auger itself in loot. Um, my daughter, who plays on the multiplayer server with me, um, she actually found found an auger uh, in loot. So it, you can get it. You just you just can't, I don't think you can just buy it anymore like you used to be able to. Could be wrong about that though. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't seen a trader with an auger in Alpha 19. Okay, so we got one more. Oh, we got Hawaii Five O over there. Get away from my motorcycle, Fatso! How in the hell is that missing? Too much spread on the sights, I think. What? He's coming over the top instead of through the tunnel. What a dummy! Is a tough son of a bitch, man. Okay. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this casual construction series. A little slower pace. Um, this is only the third one I've done, and. I'm pre-recording it, so I won't actually see your comments uh, for quite uh, quite some time afterwards, after it's been released. So I'm just going to, you know, do a few, but we'll see how they do once they actually come out. You know, if we get a, enough people watching them, I'll keep doing them. If not, then I'll probably stop and just do most of this stuff off camera. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. All right, so um, here, let's nip this too so let's see we still need to, oh okay so this is right about where we need to cut and head south lined up with my cabin there so that actually gave us more area that i thought it would we could even potentially maybe fill some of that back in except for that i was actually kind of planning on just keeping this open so we could go straight on through to the other side, basically. Um, or what we could do is kind of carve a road off this way to the to where it's a little more gradual in this little draw. Um, So, yeah, I guess I'm not really sure about how I want to do that quite yet. But we don't have to we don't have to decide that right now anyway. See, that's the other thing. I thought we were going to pop out at this stump, but it's actually quite a bit further over this way. The road is <laughs> I've got is he just is he just going to keep coming there? What the hell? Oh, man. Where 
We're having rabbit for dinner tonight, boys and girls. Okay. So, um, yeah. We need to cut in right through here. So this is basically right straight on with my little um, marker right about here. So yeah, that gives that gives us quite a bit more room than I was expecting to have here. Let's put in here, let's do this. Let's make a couple of these. Get rid of that thing. So if we did want to just keep going straight here, I need to carve all of that away. It's just that this is really steep. Which isn't a problem, of course, for going down it, but for coming up it, we get pretty slow right towards the end there. Tell you what, let's do this. Let's carve this, the rest of this out, and let's hop on the motorcycle and just see how much that does slow us down. Because ideally, I'd prefer for the road to just go straight on through, you know? Since it's very, very difficult to do nice, smooth corners and curves in this game. Everything has to be on right angles. Okay, so let's put some frames down just to kind of flatten all of this out here. We don't want to put a frame there or it's going to put a big divot in the ground. Pick this all up here. See, that gets pretty damn steep right there. <laughs> I mean, the motorcycle could, I'm sure it can make it up there, but it's just a matter of how much is it going to slow it down. Well, let's try it. Let's just see what happens. Um, I need to, it's going to be kind of hard to see this from down below too. So let's just put a couple of frames right here so we have a, a landmark. I'm still pondering too whether or not I want to pave this road with like cobble. We just go right straight off the hill here to get down into the town. And it's great going downhill of course. But then to come back up, see it's kind of hard to even see where those frames are. Oh, there they are. Okay. Yeah, we slow down quite a bit right here, especially at this part. I mean, to the point where we're almost at a standstill. We have to kind of zigzag to get up. Yeah, I, okay, I think what we're going to have to do is, I mean, we can always do the zigzag, but it's just kind of a pain in the ass. So what we might do is, instead of have, extending that road that way, I mean, I mean, technically we don't even really need a road, right? And we could just go up and down this draw and be just fine. It'd be kind of cool if we did have a road, but it... You know, it's just, there's no way I'm going to be able to do that. The only thing I could potentially do is just clear the grass all the way down so it looks like it's kind of a road. But we can't really manipulate the terrain at all because if we do, it's it's just going to screw it up. So I think for now, the plan's going to be that we'll just use this, this draw because it's a little more gradual to get up and down. And, you know, I might 
do something more with that later. We'll just have to see. Okay. And that being the case, I might just leave this the way that it is for the time being, too. Okay, so let's just park the bike there. And now the plan is that we're going to start cutting into, um, you know, tunneling that direction until we get to close to where, you know, the base will actually start. Um, so I'm thinking probably no further than this little line right here where things level out. Because, again, I don't want to pocket a big pocket, air pocket, below the base itself because it could cause us SI problems. So if we face north and we stand right about here, um, we are essentially at 225 north. So that's where we want to approximately come to and not go any further uh, than that. You know, one other thing, way I could do this is I could actually burrow down here and then cut out that way. Not that it's that big of a deal either way, really, but... Um, hmm. No, I think I don't think I'll do it that way. We're, so we're just going to burrow in from here and go um, till 225 north. And that's where we'll... That'll be the back wall of this uh, cavern here. So let's grab this, and this isn't all the way out yet, so I guess we'll wait a little bit longer. Let's do another uh, meat for the stamina buff and the mineral water. Oh, this cures dysentery too. So basically this takes, this does everything that both goldenrod and red tea does. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, so let's see. Um, this is pretty much the dead center right here so we'll cut through we're gonna keep this again like a four wide tunnel but what we might need to do is we might need to uh, make it a little bit wider out this way for for turning like maybe kind of smooth this corner out a bit uh, we won't really know how well it's going to work until we actually get the 4x4 itself, though, because that's the one that's going to matter the most. It's probably going to be the only dirt that we're going to hit in this whole thing. It's going to be all stone from here on out. So for now, I'm just going to keep it a 4 wide. Um, and the, you know, the motorcycle won't have any trouble getting around this corner, but what we might do once we get the 4x4 is if we have to, you know, enlarge this turnaround just a little bit more, uh, we'll do it that at that time. But for now, we'll just keep it four wide uh, on the corner too. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to let you go here because we're getting, we're about at the one hour mark or so. And I don't know that I'm, I don't know that I'll do a lot more on camera of the digging itself I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dig the tunnel uh, to to our location uh, or to our coordinate which was what was it two 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 five north I don't know I'll check it again um, and then you know maybe even just dig out the the, the cavern because it's all it's gonna be is me digging in stone so it's not too terribly exciting to watch but once we get um, the cavern dug out or at least mostly dug out I'll bring you back at that point and we'll start working on, you know, like this. I, I'm thinking a stairway uh, up to the to the top. Um, the ladder is going to be faster, and we might even we might still do a ladder too. But the the stairway is going to, I don't know, just it's going to be a little cooler, I think, uh, a little more. I don't know what what the word is. It'll make things a little more accessible, a little more realistic, maybe. <laughs> I don't know if that was the right word, but um, anyway. That's what I have in my mind, and so, you know, when we get to the point where we're going to start building that, then I'll probably start the next uh, Casual Construction Series episode at that point, okay? Uh, don't forget, by the time you guys see this, I will be on, uh, I'll be in Las Vegas 
uh, from the 19th through the 27th or the 28th, I think it is. Uh, and I'm pre-recording all these videos. Hopefully I'll have enough content to keep you guys going for the whole time. Uh, we, but uh, not sure yet if that's going to happen. So there might be a few days towards the end of that period that I'm gone uh, where there won't be any videos, but we'll just see how things go. All right, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.